Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to todayifeellike.com. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to remove echoes out of your video. So if you have a area that you record in that's small and echoey, like I have right now, or if you have to go to some place that is known to be echoey, let me show you guys how to get rid of some of that echo. Let's go check it out. All right, so I'm actually in the hallway of my building, the stairwell of my building right now, and you can probably hear that it is very, very echoey in here. So I can actually stop and you can keep on hearing me because it's just a lot of echo in here. So I'm gonna reduce some of this echo so that you guys can hear it, but just for a point of reference, I'm actually gonna walk outside to uh, where there's a lot of open air so you can hear the difference when your voice has room to escape and you don't end up with all this echo. And then I'm gonna go into another little area where there's also a lot of echo so you guys can hear it there as well. All right, so I'm outside now and as you can probably hear, I sound a lot better. I don't sound all super echoey. It's a lot more room for my voice to escape so it's not bouncing off of walls and I don't have that terrible echo sound. But there's another little area over here that I like to film that I generally don't film in because it's very echoey. But now that I have a way I can get rid of some of that echo, I'm gonna go over here, film a little bit, and then we'll see if we can remove that echo. All right, so here I am in this little area that I like to film in sometimes, but I don't really come over here much because it's very, very echoey over here. And it's, it's nice, it has a nice archway, and, but there's walls on both sides, and as you can hear, there's a lot of echo in here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Crumble Pop Echo Remover plugin and see how it uh, actually works to remove the echo. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so now what we are hearing is the uh, audio, but with the Echo Pop Echo Remover uh, plugin being used and so it's very easy to do all you have to do is simply grab the plug-in drag and drop it right on top of your footage and it goes and removes all that echo now you can fine-tune it so that you can uh, that you can increase the effect or decrease the effect there's a lot that you can do in there but even just straight out of the box just grabbing it but from its default settings really helps out a lot all right, everyone, so there you have it. That is a quick look at the Crumble Pop Echo Remover plugin. Now, they have this plugin both for Final Cut Pro and for Adobe Premiere. I have them both, it works with both. It is a fantastic plugin. It really allows you to have the freedom to record and film where you want to. I have been on so many different, uh, I've been in so many different situations where I wanted to film something and I had to find a different location because it was echoey. Well now, I can actually record, not have to worry so much about the echo, and as you can hear right now, boom, I got rid of a lot of that echo. So anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video. I'm going to leave a link to this product in the video description so that you guys can check it out. And I'm also going to leave a link to my Amazon page so you guys can see all the products that I've reviewed over time, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with todayifeellike.com. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.